Good morning, guys. I think I have a really good video for you today that I'm really excited about. I got some new wheels for my 2022 Ford Lightning. I don't really know why. I just don't really care for the platinum wheels. They just didn't end up growing on me at all. So I actually have a different set of OEM Ford wheels right there. I don't know if you can see them in this light. It's a traditional style that comes on a few other Ford F-150s and excursions. But this set happens to be gray instead of black and it's gonna match my truck a lot more. So I'm excited to get those on today, but first, and more importantly, we are gonna be doing an efficiency test. Not necessarily a, a range test, because in my opinion, range tests don't really matter. It doesn't tell you the whole story anyway. I'm gonna do an efficiency test to see how many miles per kilowatt hour I get with these original OEM wheels compared to the newer OEM wheels from a different Ford truck. So stay tuned, here we go, super excited. I got a lot of driving ahead of me. <laughs> Before I shove off, I wanna give you some more of the, the nitty gritty details of this trip. So I'm gonna be leaving my house here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm gonna be driving just to a, a random area. The road I'm turning around on is called Stinking Creek interesting place but i chose it because it's mostly highway i'm going to set the cruise at 70 miles an hour i'm also going to be monitoring the cruise via gps just to verify the speed because the new tires when i get those on are actually a slightly smaller diameter so i want to make sure it's as apples to apples as i can possibly get but speaking of the tires the oem platinum wheels are an astonishing 84 pounds it's crazy they're very very heavy i took one off to weigh it myself just so i would know wow uh, it was heavier than i expected and that is with the oem general grabber wheels installed the new wheels that i have there in the garage those were actually only 64 pounds and those have goodyear territory at tires on it i've heard they're not as good uh, according to tireact.com the tires on the platinum here are actually a better quality tire, but I was hoping for something with more of an aggressive look. And I also just, I don't know, I don't really care for the 22s. So the new ones are 18s. So what that means is the new wheels and tires are gonna save me 20 pounds per wheel. That's pretty good. I doubt I'm gonna gain any range with this or gain any efficiency. I'm just hoping not to lose too much. If it's a wash, that would be awesome. If I happen to gain, hey, that'd be awesome too. I'm just not holding my breath on that. Even though they are 20 pounds lighter in each tire, I think the AT tire aspect of it is probably gonna create more rolling resistance and uh, but that'll probably decrease my efficiency there. But that's what this test is, so we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna be making this first trip, round trip, with the OEM tires, drive up, back, and then when I get back here, I'm gonna jack up the truck I'm gonna install the new wheels and do the same exact trip again. It's sunny and beautiful, very little wind. So both of them should be pretty close to the same trip. Okay, I'm in the truck, ready to go. Just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be resetting my trip odometer, doing that right now. I'm gonna have the air conditioning set at 70 degrees. Again, my speed is gonna be 70 miles per hour. The trip is 39 miles each way and then about 43 minutes. The truck says I have 250 miles of range and I'm at 97% charged. So here we go. Just got home, I've done the math, so I have the numbers, trip went well, here we go. So the difference of the state of charge between when I left, when I got back, I used 27% of the battery. The guessometer meter says I used 75 miles of range, which I'm actually very surprised <laughs> is accurate. According to Google Maps, I drove 75.4 miles. It took me an hour and 24 minutes, but wow, the guessometer. meter was actually right, I'm totally surprised. The truck's computers say I had an efficiency of 
miles per kilowatt hour. Not very surprised. That's pretty standard. That's pretty much what I've been seeing with. I have mentioned in a few of my videos, if you fold the side view mirrors in, I've actually done quite a bit better, but it's not really safe and I don't recommend doing it. But anyways, I got 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. So if I use the state of charge number and the gasometer number that Ford gives you, they don't really give you a whole lot of data, but that means this trip consumed an estimated 35.37 kilowatt hours. So then I could do the math from there, 75 miles divided by 35.37 miles equals 2.12 miles per kilowatt hour. So while the math actually backs up what Ford says in the computers, I'm honestly very surprised. As long as the new wheels and tires aren't grossly lower and I'm gonna lose a bunch of range, I'll use the newer ones. I think they look a lot better. The only way I'll have to reconsider is if for some reason the range is just way worse. Something, the efficiency is just terrible. But we'll find that out in a couple hours. Quick intermission, I just got all four of my new Ford wheels on the Lightning and FedEx came. I wasn't expecting anything. And Real Truck must have seen my video that I just posted like a week or two ago. And they sent me some goodies. I got this awesome Real Truck hat, a Real Truck shirt, and a koozie. Oh, it has magnets or something on it. Man, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Real Truck. I wasn't expecting anything and uh, I guess they like my video about the back tonneau cover. <laughs> so a couple things I'm gonna look and listen for on this next trip is, one is the noise. It might be a little noisier. Based on the reviews I've seen of the, the Wrangler tire here, it doesn't seem like a very noisy tire, but theoretically it should be a little noisier, which is, I'm kind of expecting that. And I'm okay with that. The second thing I'm gonna watch for is the ride quality. In theory, these should ride better because it's an 18 inch wheel and there's more tire there to support you through any bumps or anything. Those are the two things I'm also gonna be looking for, but also because it's such a difference in diameter. I did check on, uh, there's a website, Tacoma Tires, something like that. I'll have a link in the description below. You can compare two different size wheels and I did that. I can't remember exactly what the difference was in mile per hour, but I'll post a screenshot. I'm just surprised at the difference when you're looking at them. But that is why I'm also matching the speed to GPS recorded speed. I'll make sure that the GPS says we're driving 70 miles per hour on that long stretch. But that's enough blabbering, time to head off. I can't wait to see the results. I just completed the halfway point. So I just did the turnaround on Stinking Creek Road. I am on the home stretch on the way home. Let me get myself up to speed here. So I'm gonna set it. It seems to fluctuate a little bit. Either 72 or 73 is what I set the cruise to, the blue cruise. And actual GPS says I'm doing about 70 to 71, right around there. I have a sheet here from that Tacoma World website, and it's supposed to be about 1.5 mile per hour difference with these wheels. Seems like it might be just a little bit more, unfortunately. But anyways, at the halfway point, again, these numbers don't matter as much because the car doesn't know 
the correct speed that we're going and the correct distance and everything. But at the halfway point, it says 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's more, but I still suspect in the end, when we get home and I do the math, I bet I lost. I bet I lost efficiency. But I can say first impressions is that the ride quality is definitely better, in my opinion. In my butt's opinion, it is a softer ride, feels definitely more comfortable, and it actually seems quieter, which I'm not sure how that's possible. I really don't think I'm being biased because I like these second tires better, or the second wheels better at least. I like them so far. I just hope I'm not gonna sacrifice a ton of range because if I need it for a road trip, I'd like it for it to be there. That'd be cool. More to come though. I'll update you guys in a bit. Hey everyone, I am back with the results and I'm gonna tell you right now. But first, before I do that, let me know in the comments below what you think of these tires versus the OEM Platinum tires. I'm really honestly curious what you guys think. Which one do you think looks better? And also I wanna know what you think the results are gonna be. Do you think I'm gonna have better efficiency with the OEM wheels and tires that are right over there that I used to have on this truck? Or do you think these will have better efficiency? I'll take a break for about 30 seconds and that'll give you time to write below what you guys think. And if you have it already, you could take the time to like the video as well. All right, hopefully that gave you guys some time to let your comments be known. I only do this for you guys. This really doesn't make me any money whatsoever, but I just like facts. I like real things. I'm not gonna review something and give it glowing reviews just because it was given to me or whatever. If I think something sucks, I'm gonna tell you. And if I absolutely love something, I'm gonna tell you. That's what I'm all about here on this channel. But anyways, I've dragged it out long enough. I'll try to abbreviate this because I know it's a lot of numbers and I don't wanna lose people. The state of charge difference from when I left to when I returned is 26%. So that means I used 26% of this battery doing the exact same trip. Same miles, same tire pressure, same everything. The gasometer said I used 71 miles, which is weird. I've never really relied on the gasometer, but that's what it says. And again, a reminder is that this trip verified with GPS, verified on Google, and I clocked it on the first trip. This trip is 75.4 miles. The estimated battery used is 34.06 kilowatt hours to drive that seven, what did I say, 75.4 miles. I rounded it just to 75, just because that's what I did last time. 75 miles divided by 34.06 is 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So that means it actually improved my efficiency driving with these wheels. That is including the size discrepancy. So the speedometer is off about two miles, two miles per hour. Last time on the OEM Platinum wheels, which again are 84 pounds, was 2.12 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's not huge, but if you're taking a road trip, I'd probably have to do some more math and see really what that would equal to for range. Usable kilowatt hours, in this battery pack, and that's according to Ford, there's 131 usable, 131 times 2.2. I've been driving too long to do that in my head, but I'll have that right here <laughs> somewhere. So that means with these tires, that is my estimated max range. And of course there's probably a slight buffer in there. I might be able to go slightly farther, but I am stoked. I really like these wheels and tires. I think it would look better with black lugs, but I love that these are a gray version that matches the truck. And I just think they look so much better than the platinum wheels. But that concludes this video. If you are interested in my platinum wheels, let me know. I haven't really seen any others for sale, so I don't know exactly what they'd be worth. But again, I just wanna say that I do this for you guys. This isn't making me any money. This is just costing me time, but I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. 
<laughs> See you guys later. Thanks.